Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my demo to synchronizing physics over the network. In the lower right, I have the server, and above that I have a spectator client, and over here I have another client on my editor, which I will be moving around. Before I begin, I just want to show you how easy this is to set up. I have a bunch of cubes in my scene, which are physics objects that I can push around. The only thing I have to add to them to make them sync over the network is my reactive physics object. You can see there are a few settings here for object type, sync interval, and string. These objects are considered reactive objects, meaning they are not player controlled. They are just objects that the player can bump into and I need them to synchronize. Therefore, I have them on the object type of reactive. I reset the simulation and I have clumsy set to a 50 millisecond delay on localhost that is approximately a 100 to 130 millisecond ping. Now I'm going to move one of my clients around and you can see as I bump into the cubes that they synchronize on the server and all clients as well perfectly. I even ran into another player and you can see that they synchronize as well. One important thing to note, that this is not specifically for a character controller. This will work for controllers which use force or do not need really snappy movement. This would be good for maybe a race car, moving a ball around, or something like a ship on the ocean. Top-down games would probably be fine as well. On my controlled, my cube, which is the player object, I also have the reactive physics object, except this is an object type controller, and since this is a 3D cube, I'm using controller, not controller 2D. I have the sync interval to 0.02. This is the same sync interval that the controlled script uses. This is the motor for moving my cube around. For the best results, set the sync interval on the reactive physics object to that rate of which your motor script is using. So I'm being a little more lenient with the strength. Here I have a strength of 0.1, whereas if you look at the reactive cubes, they have a strength of 1. This means the reactive cubes will synchronize their position, rotation, and velocity almost in real time to what is on the server. However, on my player, with a strength of 0.1, while it still will force a position, rotation, and velocity setting, it's a little more lenient about how long it takes it to get there. This will allow the input from the player to feel pretty responsive while also maintaining server authority. And if you were wondering how I am moving that cube around, I am adding force by using inputs, and then I am sending those inputs to the server and it is adding the same force using the same inputs. Just an example, I'm going to bump up my move speed to something ridiculous. I'm actually going to multiply it by quite a bit. It's now 50,000 and it was 5,000 before. My cube is going to fly pretty crazy here on the editor which I modified the speed but it'll move normal on the server and then it'll catch up on the editor as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. As you saw, this is still server authoritative movement while you have the option to use a physics motor. If you want to grab the source code to this demo, go ahead and check out the description of this video where you can join one of my supporter packages on any tier to download all source codes to past projects as well future ones.